What's up everybody? This is Average Bros Media. My name is Nick and I am super hyped this Sunday morning for a couple of reasons. Number one is because of you guys. You guys are crushing it. We just hit a thousand subscribers on this channel. One thousand subscribers. So thank you to all of you who have hit that subscribe button. It means the world to us. It's a milestone that we've been setting out to reach since we started this channel about eight months ago. So seriously, thank you. We've got a few things that we're going to announce that were kind of our celebration, if you will, for hitting a thousand subscribers. A few things that are going to take this channel to the next level and really just getting it where we want it to be. But you guys killed it so much that we got to a thousand subscribers a little earlier than we were expecting. So those things are still in the works. Be on the lookout for a few big announcements in the next couple weeks here. Now, the second reason that I am stoked today is because of this. As you can see, we've got some Magnaflow product in the garage. And the reason is that, and you probably saw this if you're following us on Instagram, and if you're not, Average Bros Media on Instagram, check it out. But Magnaflow jumped on board for the build of the 240, so we're gonna be Magnaflow equipped, and I'm gonna do an unboxing video of these guys today. All right, so Magnaflow is kind enough to hook it up with two different products here. So I waited for you guys to be part of this, to unbox these. I haven't even cut these boxes open, so this will be my first time seeing it, so let's get into it. So this one here is one of their straight through mufflers. So I will be using this on the middle section or center section of the exhaust setup. Uh, so this guy here is their four inch straight through muffler. So that thing is just gorgeous. Um, it's got three inch inlets on both sides. So it's gonna be a full three inch stainless steel exhaust for this whole thing. Um, this does come in a couple different sizes. This is the four inch, like I said. Uh, it also comes in a five and a six inch. Um, but like I said, this is one of their straight through mufflers. So if you were to look straight through there, um, there's not a whole lot of resistance or anything like that. It has a stainless steel perforated core. Um, and I went with the four inch because I wanted the least amount of muffler essentially as possible. My whole goal when I was setting this exhaust up and talking to Magnaflow about what I should put on the car was to have something that is gonna give a really good 2JZ sound, um, be you know moderately loud, but it can still drive down the street without being you know a ridiculously loud straight pipe car, for example. And, and I don't really just like the sound of a straight pipe car, to be totally honest with you guys. So this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the quality on this is just phenomenal. I'm super stoked on this guy. Now let's get to the good stuff and see the rear muffler. All right, so the rear muffler is one of their competition core mufflers, uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, you guys, look at that beauty. Just awesome. So as I said, this is one of their competition core mufflers, full stainless steel. It's a three inch inlet. Like I said, the exhaust is gonna be a full three inch setup. Um, now I went with the competition core because these are really built for their cars that are seeking performance and power, that kind of thing. Um, and again, this is a straight through style muffler, so it provides really the least amount of resistance and maximizing exhaust flow, which is important on this build in particular. Now, these do come in a couple different options as time, in terms of like muffler style, tip style, uh, as well as a two and a half inch inlet as well to the three. So for those of you who maybe aren't as familiar with exhaust, having a three inch exhaust isn't always gonna give you more power. Um, if you're not putting out, you know, enough power, then that's just going to be detrimental because it's not building up enough back pressure. Um, so definitely talk to someone at Magnaflow if you're looking at getting a custom exhaust setup to see which makes the most sense for you. Um, but it is available in a variety of options. Now once I narrowed it down to the competition core, I basically just picked out the tip style that I liked the most. Um, I thought this would look good with the rest of the build that we're doing, match the body lines, all that kind of stuff. And it was just my overall favorite to look at. But really, really a gorgeous piece. I'm super stoked to get this on the car. All right, you guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to Magnaflow for hooking it up with the product for the 240. I cannot wait to hear that 2JZ start up for the first time with the Magnaflow stuff on the exhaust. It's gonna be awesome. If you wanna see more of our builds, the 2JZ 240, the Legacy GT, the WRX, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button on this video, and I'll see you guys next week.